Yo, I'm calling. I'm Lunga. I'm Lunga. No. <laughs> this is the bench. The bench. The bench. The bench. Welcome, Lunga. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm back. This is your official capping ceremony. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm finding out about this how now. How do you do it? How do you do it? Do Thank I tap you. or do I have to put it on? I don't know, dude. Do put, I've never been capped before. To there be we fair. go. And then, yeah, no, that's Lunga's first cap. Welcome, welcome to the team. I mean, we said it on the FCON review show, but then officially. Thank you. You know, smile for the camera. You gotta. There's no contracts yeah. here, though. Hey, we need an agent. Hey, coming so. If I, we I need, need money. an agent. We need money for yeah. contracts, and we don't have money. So, if anybody wants to give us money, you heard it here first. Lunga said. I need a contract. You need money for Come the contract, on, fam. You do need an agent. Yeah, Who'd I do. Your agent? Would you get like a Minorola? I, I need someone like that, someone reckless, someone who looks after my interests. Who's gonna come to the tabloids and be like, hey. These are image rights, bro. Ima oh, okay. Image rights out here. Are you saying that we can't mass produce this video then for the audience? No, I, I give you, you I give you You have to permission. sign off. I'm happy to be here, so yeah, anytime, yeah. dude. Lunga, Lunga's gonna come five years from now, be like, we're distributing his image, his image rights and his videos, taking True. the bench on a lawsuit. <laughs> but I don't know what he's gonna get because we don't have money. But yeah. Tough times, yeah. tough times. But yeah, how was the weekend? The weekend was calm. Yeah, I, I watched I watched live football for the first time since eighteen months or so, huh? Even more. Even more than that. Even huh? more than that. Like I think the last time I was in that stadium was for Bafana Bafana, if I'm not mistaken. Bafana in Libya. In yeah. The rain. In the rain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This time I was there for a DSTV Compact Cup in the sun and <laughs> it was hot. How was it though in the stadium? It was boring. What do you mean? I think they thought that no fans are going to be there, but fans were invited and they just didn't take care of us at all. But like boring out, so you get in the stadium. You get in the stadium yeah. and there's no music. <laughs> there's no stadium announcer. Oh, so like there's no hype man like how they usually have. Just tell me who's in the around. starting lineup. Oh, and they didn't do like starting lineups Nothing. at all too. They had, they had a moment of silence. They had claps. We didn't yeah. know what that was for, but it was just... I think overall they put on a bad show. Everyone who organized it Oof. put on a bad show. Oof, that's tough. That's tough. Because it was a game for the fans. So it was the DSTV Compact Cup this weekend, the first two semifinals. Yeah. As Lunga said, he did get into the stadium. Shout out to the to the person who organized the tickets for Shen us. Shen You you know yeah, Pavelo Pangasa, you know who you are. Shout out. We a appreciate real one. it. A real one. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did not get to go into the stadium. I was also Busy, you're outside you know? golfing yeah i was golfing you're both man. different eh? let's go golfing you know let's I go golfing getting my handicap so some of us watch football and some of mm. us just go golfing mm. you know casual i'm out in the couch you know gotta progress in life you know okay if you, wa if you want the money act like you have the money let's go you know let's exactly go. but yeah compact cup out of 10 how would you raise it the football mm. a seven mm. uh the tournament itself don't say it. I feel like it's not going to be a good number. The tournament <laughs> itself was... No, they... Yeah. they. You know what it is? They really just opened the stadium. Oh, and then... Just, did nothing else. It was just... It was open. It was like, hey, football. And then... And put security guards in between uh, us. Uh, but I mean, the football was okay. No, the football... I'm, I'm happy to football see football. Don't fun. get me wrong. Yeah. Free the fans. It's about time it they let us into the, the... Let us into the stadium. Let us watch mm. some football. And let us get mm. back into it. Mm. I mean... When I watched it, so I did catch a couple of the highlights and like a couple of the minutes of the game and stuff. I think what I didn't like about the whole thing, because it, it's an all-star game. Yes, right? yes. When you watch an all-star game, so when you like the NBA all-star games and stuff, you expect like skills, guys just having fun, you know? Yeah. But this thing was set up, it was like serious, fam. Everybody was like, yo, we're actually playing for something. And I was like, yeah, I, also, I, I agree with you. I yeah. felt like a lot of players were acting as if they're trying to get into the Bafana squad. And I'm just like, can we just have some <laughs> nutmegs for a couple you know, of minutes? Let's just have some skill. You know. Act like fans are watching. Right. I, at some kick. point, I was like, these guys are convinced that they're playing in front of no fans. Yeah. It was as if we weren't there. But anyway, they live and they learn. They have one more week to mm. fix that. It is a week. And I mean, maybe the final and the third and fourth place will be better. You know, but it is the first All-Star game. So, room for improvement. I yes, guess. 100%. Room for improvement. So, uh, the first game was Coastal United and Dina Lady. So, Coastal United obviously from the coast. Yeah. And then Dina Lady from the inland team. Coastal United won 3-1. You were there. First person reaction. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0
Three no, three no. Yes. Three no. First, first, first reaction. Um, that was an interesting game. I think it was cool to see Sundowns Super Sport players playing in one team. Yeah, yeah. I really thought that Dina and Lady were going to light up Coastal right, United. Right. They were a lot of people's favorites, but then like Norika and I spoke about it. We don't know if it was just the name or actually the players in that team, but yeah. They tried. They I did suppose. try. They did try. I mean, regardless of the scoreline, yes, the game did end 3 0, but I think players on both sides, that was probably one of the more even matchups out of the semi finals. Okay. You know, and it's surprising to see the type of players in Coastal United that turned up, you know, for that team. It wasn't oh, like yes, your big, yes, big yes. stars, you know, it was a lot of the younger guys in that team who did end up getting the goals and then being like having the most impact on that game. No, 100%. I think. Without the young players, I think yeah. the young players knew what they came to do. They came mm. to play an all-star game. They came to have fun. And Ashley Dupree got the first goal, yeah. which was great. I saw him linking up with Evidence Bahopa. Right. And if that's the future of Bafana, there's some... Um, it's bright. It's bright. As bright as the sun was on that Saturday. That's, <laughs> that's our future in football, dude. But I mean, like, you got to play like Ashley Dupree. Yes, we said that now he's linking up with Evidence Bahopa, like, brilliantly. In yeah. the all-star game. Yeah. But... Only one of them have a Bafana cap right now. So when is like it's time for Ashley Dupree to get a call up? I think know? so long as they keep at it and stay professional, mm. they their time will come, bro. Yeah. Their time will come. Yeah, it will. I mean, he did get the first goal, and then the second goal came from I think who is probably up there, best centre back in the league, highly underrated, Phillies. Is this so, a beard thing or? A it's not a beard thing. I just think that the, you you don't rate him as a centre back. You, whenever you and I talk, you like, yeah. no, he's more like in a back three or like a fullback. I like, I think he's more attacking. He's what the modern game actually looks for in like a player who plays the ball progressively yeah. and over the head. You know, the longer passes and stuff. But yeah, no, unbiased opinion. I don't even support the team he plays for. But yeah, you know, best centre back in the league. He's very calm. He I'll give him calm. that. He plays it out from the back. It is modern day centre back. That, 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 that finish in the box. Strikers finish, man. So shout out Phillies. And then now, the third goal was from Lupumlo Sifumba. That was that was greatness. Because when old. he came on, got the one-two touch, and yeah. you know there's no there's no live replay. Or yeah. there's no replay when you're yeah. at the game live. When he came on, hit the one-two touch and hit the finish, yeah. we were like, wow, yeah. what a goal. So and I mean for a 16-year-old, it just shows why we have the compact cup. You know, a lot of the younger yeah. guys coming. I mean, imagine being a 16-year-old. You and I were chatting, like, what were we doing at 16? Not playing in Moses Mabida. Not Mabita. playing in Moses Mabida. Yeah, hundred percent. I think I read something today saying that he could be linked to the move of abroad yeah. already, which is pretty cool. Also, apparently, the DSTV Compact Cup had some Disky Challenge players yeah, in the yeah, roster. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure if he's a Disky Challenge player, but or for him to come team. on, yeah, I know, light it up, score the goal. That was that was entertaining. Mm. We came to watch and see goals, and we definitely got goals in the first game. So I give him that. Yeah. So that was. Uh, the one semi-final, we did see Kosi and I to progress to the final. Yeah. Dina Lady, had it? But you know, N Norika was supporting Dina Lady. She was, she was. I had an issue with that. Why? Because we're in Durban. Oh, but she's supporting an inland team. Ah, right. Norika. But she's not in Durban right now. Oh, and she moved in. Like, maybe it's a sign. Maybe it she, is she, a sign, She knew bro. what she was doing. She, she knew. She just wanted to be comfortable while she's right. away. Santon girl. <laughs> All right, so the second semi-final in the Compact Cup, we did see, I think, my favorite and a lot of people's favorite, Warriors versus Amabuto from the coast. And that game ended 2-1 to Warriors. Yeah, that was, that was a good game. I think that was the most tactical game. Yeah. Again, a bit too serious for my liking. Yeah. I but mean, yeah, both games were kind of a bit serious, but, you know. It is what it is Yeah, at this it point. is what it is. I mean, Warriors were the favorites. You know, I think if you looked at the stars in their team, the likes of Dolly, the likes of Lodge, you know, it was just... That was exciting to see. That There was a time where they just passed to each other and we could see why. Oh, they kept it. They were, well, like, they were like, let's move this ball together. They were switching flanks. Yeah. I was entertained by that. I oh, they lie. were literally like switch, like switch, service. Switch. <laughs> that, the whole time we're there, all you hear is service, <laughs> touch. And it was awesome. It was good to see. <laughs> I mean, do you think Amabutu stood a chance? Against the team like I hundred percent did. That team A was Amabuto. Two, yeah. they wore green. I was convinced. I was watching Amazulu. Amazulu, yeah. Fact, I mean, the ca the captain of the team was Makaula, who is the Amazulu captain. Hundred percent, yes. And there was at the back, Velimoto. Yeah, Velimoto. Sitebe was there. 
obviously the Swallow Royal AM, yes, but we'll yes, let that yes, slide. Yes, yes, yes. But I mean, there was a lot of Durban based, Durban based players, so we did want to see them actually do well. And to be fair, so, if they took their chances, yeah. they could have won that game easily. I mean, anybody could have won the game, but I feel like the odds were against them. You know, yeah, they were. The they odds were. were against them. I think Lunga's opinion over there was a bit biased coming from uh, Amazulu fan himself. But yeah, the game that I didn't think the game was just going to end to one. I thought it was going to be more goals from Warriors. I when I was messaging you all at the stadium, I was like, "Yo, Warriors going to bury this team." You know, they look too stacked. But I mean, at least we got goals on both sides. Three goals, you know, again in another game, and yeah, an I own think. goal from Ababuto uh, to score our own goal. In an in all-star, all-star game. game. That's that's showing how serious people were taking. Alright, that means like the guy was here literally behind you, just putting China. pressure on you. Just relax. Then you should have time as a midfield in the box. Just turn, you that's know, exactly my pass point to your too. guy. Even do a couple of juggles in the box, do around the wall. But the guys weren't taking it like I was that. I was also like kind of confused as to why the coaches weren't making a lot of subs. I All don't right. know if there's bonuses involved or maybe clubs were like players shouldn't play, yeah. but like for me, it's a, a thing of just make wholesale changes and uh, let us see new exciting like, players. Like, if there's anybody who was there on the day who didn't actually play the game, it would have been a bit weird, you know? Because you in an All-Star game... There were quite expect, a few players. You expect the subs to even get on the bench, especially, especially like the no-name brand kind of guys, you know, yeah. that we don't always hear about. They need to come on and get some game time. That's what the 100%. whole competition is about, yeah. you know? So it is kind of weird when you see, like, the teams and the technical staff not making those changes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but I mean... Again, another game, three goals, Warriors go to the final, so... Kune in goal, what a performance. Well, okay, I mean... Don't okay it. I mean, that's your team, that's your... It's yeah, my team, that's but he's not my goalkeeper. starting goalkeeper. He's there for morale, you know? He, that's good morale to have, though. It's just morale. Because it was a decent, it was a decent performance. Mm. Morale. Okay. I mean, I think out of that game, the goal of the day, probably the goal of the whole semi-final was from Saleng from uh, Swallows oh yes that first touch gave me flashbacks of like 2012 2013 Robert Van Persie you know okay but not really but I mean literally ball over the shoulder you know and then half volley bottom right corner that was that was clinical that was clinical you know also near the end of the game so he really very composed I liked seeing that I mean the game was 1-1 and then you win a game like in the 85th minute with a volley like that yes sir I mean and he's also under 25 23 year old man playing in a PSL you know what were you doing at 23 I was about to say I'm still 23 (laughs) I am still no you're finished bro it's fine I'm aging it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine. We all get there. We all get there. All right. So that was the semi-finals. Yeah. You know, as we said, third and fourth place will be against Amabuto versus Dina Lady, and then your final would be against Warriors and Coastal United FC. Third and fourth place playoff, and the final will be played at FNB Stadium or yeah. Soccer City, yes, as we sir. know it. You know, predictions. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I I want to say Amabuto to win the third and fourth playoff. Of course. But let's just have fun. Let's I, just have fun. It's not about who actually wins. Eh? It's but I don't know. Just just have fun. Just put on a better show. Yeah. I think. I mean, I mean it, it's for the fans. I think that's what the one thing that the players, maybe even like the coaching and stuff, forgot in yeah. the semi-finals that this whole competition is for the fans. You know, nobody's really trying to watch it for serious football and tactics and stuff. Like we get that on the weekend. We get that in normal DSTV Prime games. Definitely. You know, so when we see this compact cup, we want to see like more skills. Just guys. Enjoying themselves more flair and stuff. So you say You know what? I think if if if, if Coach Dan was yeah. coaching all the teams, then we'd mm. be entertained. Right. Right. Oh, because his get his his, his team, team was, was doing the techie. Most. Right. The rest of them Yeah, but I mean look at the coaches for the other teams. You think they just trying to use this thing to prove to other bigger teams in the league then that they can coach these type of players then? Possibly. You see, I think everybody is just trying to get too involved with their own personal agendas. Yeah, you know, personal agendas, but I mean as we said, it's the first one, but yeah, so I'm about to, to win third in fourth place. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, okay, I'll go with that since I'm from Durban, you know, and I agree with you. And the final? The final is going to be interesting. I'm going to give it to Warriors. You have to give it to Warriors. So Warriors, I see even the producers in the background are agreeing that Warriors are going to win. Warriors to win. It is. I mean, they have the best player in South Africa. in uh, Certified lower boy, Keegan Dolly himself. Of you course know? you'd say that. Hey, fam. 
He came to us. He came to your fam. Your he, did, he, did, he did come up He's to the He's one fans. of the players, you know, who came up yeah. after the games, took a couple of pictures. We got a picture of Kimi Yeah, no, that was, that was a good experience. I yeah. think for them to finally acknowledge that, hey, we weren't playing in the stadium alone. Yeah. There were people here. That was yeah. really professional of them. And I think a, a great experience. A yeah. lot of people were like super happy because you never expect the biggest names right. to actually pull up. And I think... It did certainly make some people's days. Yeah, I mean, they pulled up, came to the side, took a couple of flicks with the with the fans on the side. So, yeah, shout out to the players. I mean, so, yeah, I think we both agree. Warriors for the final. Yeah, definitely. Warriors to win the, the cup. Final. Yeah, so that was the semifinals of the DSTV Compact Cup. Yep. Um, exciting. Lunga, thank you for pulling through again. The first cap ceremony. We did thank that you. again. <laughs> thank you. Again. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win the DSTV Compact Cup, third and fourth place, and the final. Yeah. In the comments below. Lunga, any last words? Uh, just have fun, guys. Just have fun, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's always love from us at the bench. And Lunga, <laughs> signing out. <laughs>